flooding is the most common and most costly natural disaster in the country. In the last two years, more than 8.5 billion in damages. More than 130 lives lost. How many are there of you? Uh, there's a bus over there, 40. Yeah. In the bus? The question is what can we do to mitigate this destruction? A firm, as they call it, a flood insurance rate map, is a panel uh, which depicts flood zones, and these flood zones give an idea of specific risk, how likely you may or may not be to encounter a flooding event within a given period of time. These maps need to be updated because the factors upon which the engineering is based change over time. You have uh, changes in the, the composition of the ground material. You may have an increase in impervious area. Uh, you may have better methods, better flood study methods may become available. One of the ways to keep these FEMA maps up to date is by tracking urban change using satellite imagery. Take this suburb of Atlanta, Georgia. If we look at Landsat images spanning a 27-year period, we can pinpoint areas of the Earth's surface that have changed, usually because of construction. Like here, where the Mall of Georgia was built. A product called NUSI helps to mine these images. Well, NUSI is uh, especially important when considering risk because it allows us to identify trends in urbanization. Now, if you identify areas where urban change is accelerating, there are consequences. It means you're, you're, that increase in impervious area is going to mean altered flood characteristics, likely, and increased risk because people are probably building houses there. Impervious area essentially means ground cover which has been changed from a natural state to, say, a paved area, which is going to be concrete or asphalt. The infiltration characteristics of that ground material have been altered significantly, such that the ground is no longer able to hold water, which means that, that local flooding sources are going to receive more of that water, and the flooding characteristics are going to change. Tracking urban change from space helps everyday people understand their flood risk and take action. You can't see them or hear them, but since 1972, Landsat satellites have been sending us data. And today, that data helps us manage the high cost of flooding here on Earth.